you want it. It's there if you need it. Coming down onto the elbow if you're happy to take that position. Feet coming to the front of the mat. Long through the spine, lift the waist, hips beautifully stacked here, engaged. When you are ready, pointing the toe, lifting, lowering, lifting, lowering. Good. Sun's out again. So again, no rotation through that hip. Work smoothly through that leg and lift. Lower, lift, lower, good. Strength, range of movement through that hip is what we're thinking about. Conditioning through the thighs, nice one for that also. Think about your flow here, your precision of movement. Three, two, one soft foot remember you can bend the leg if you need to we're going forward and back kick i thought i had a plant in the way but i haven't forward and back as we kick so full range of movement here squeezing through the glutes good keep kicking forwards and back breathe warm now, I feel like I need to take my jumper off. Let's keep going, and five, four, three, two, one, back to centre. Both legs come back, and one leg circle here. Swift here. Change direction, quick burst, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, complete, good work. Let's come up onto the elbow. So again, your 90-90 position, that foot is behind you, lifting up long through the spine. Point the toe, squeeze the glutes. We lift, extend, bend and down. And lift, extend, bend and down. Lift, extend. Working through those glutes, can you feel them? Find that breath. Good, so that thigh should be really nice and warm now, firing up through those thighs. Feel those glutes as well, over halfway. Good, you've got seven. Six. Five. Four. Good work, well done. Okay, we are coming back to all fours. So, a little stability work here. What we are going to do is take the hands under shoulders and the knees under hips, keeping this simple. Options here. So make sure first of all that you're in a nice comfortable position with the spine here. Lift the chest up, roll the shoulders back and down. Option one. Slide alternate feet away from the body. Keep it really nice and light. Option two, you can add an arm here. Sliding arm and leg away from the body. Option three, extending the arm as you slide the leg away. Option four, arm of 
opposite leg. Think about that stability here through the rest of the body. So, you are trying not to lean over to one side. You're staying nice and balanced here. Another option if you want it. We take it out to the side, arm and leg. Try not to wobble. Extension out to the side, back and down. Find that flow of movement as we add that extra extension here to the side. Only do it if you can control it, if it's nice and smooth here. So a lovely exercise of course stability, thinking about a bit of balance work here. I've had a few requests for balance work in class this week so this is a nice one for you. You don't have to do it at this pace. If you'd rather slow it down, please do. I've got four, three, two, and last one here. Good work. Okay, we're coming to our front. So, this is our last exercise here, options. Feet can be together, feet can be mat width apart. Lower back issues such as myself, that's a nice option. Option one here, arms at a right angle. Forehead on the mat, again this is when you could use that little pillow under the forehead. Option one, I'm lifting the chest and my right arm. I'm extending the arm overhead, back to a right angle and down. Same on the left side, alternates here. So, your second option, W shape with those arms. I'm going to move myself back just a touch. W shape with those arms here. Lift the chest, engage, soft hips, shoulders back and down. Breaststroke. So, of these, we have 40. Are you ready? We're going to start here. 40 breaststroke. Focus on your breath. Try and do all 40 with me here. Breathe. Keep that chest lifted. It doesn't have to be a big movement, as you can see. Mine is not a massive movement here as I lift up through the chest. Full range of movement as we work through the shoulders. We've done 10. Are we breathing? That's 20. 20 more. Stay with me if you can. Can we feel those shoulders? Squeeze them together. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, stay with me. Two and one. Fold the arms, rest the head down. We're going to slide one leg up to the side of the body, opening up through the hip, releasing tension away from the lower spine. Take a few nice breaths here for yourself. Well done everyone. Let's slide that leg down. It's hard on the patio. Other side, let's open up through that hip.
good work. Sliding that leg down. Hands under shoulders here. Let's come up and into child's pose. We're going to sink the bottom down towards the feet here. Feel that gentle stretch here through the spine. When you're ready, we come to a seated position. All right, let's take those legs into a V shape. Hands either side of one leg, feet nice and soft. Just bring it down into that hamstring stretch. You don't have to go very far here to feel that stretch into the hamstring. And changing sides. Bring those legs in, one leg in and one heel to bottom, quad stretch, lifting up nice and long through the spine. And changing sides. to a cross leg or long leg position, whatever is comfortable for you. We're going to finish with some nice shoulder swoops here, so take a nice deep breath in. Again on this side, one more, and we repeat left side. Last one here. Good work. All right, everyone, we finished. I hope you enjoyed that. We had a nice workout. Um, simple basic mat workout and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there is a link somewhere up there I think um, if you enjoyed that uh, and you'd like to give something you think it was worth it I'd appreciate it. I hope to see you back in class soon. Stay safe everyone. Thank you.